Hello, 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 everybody. Happy Saturday night. It is the 49-month anniversary of the Day of Retribution, I think, if my drunken math is correct. It was uh, four years ago, one month ago, so it's got to be the 49-month anniversary of the Day of Retribution. Folks, I've never done this uh, screen-sharing thing before, so hopefully I'm doing it right. Hopefully I'm doing it right. Let me know if I fucked it up. I'm trying to trying to show half my screen to be the chat, half the screen to be uh my my monitor, my my internet. Cuz we got some we got some stuff to talk about, folks. We got some stuff to talk about. Let's uh let's hide this for now. Let's go to Twitter. Let's go, well, I guess it's right there too. Everybody, how's it going tonight? It's your boy Monkey Jones here for another super fun live stream. This one I might actually leave up or maybe I'll just unlist it. Who knows? Because uh, we we got some we got some drama, folks. We got some drama on the Monkey Channel. Uh, as as most of you probably know, I put up a new video yesterday. It would have been Friday, Friday midday. No, no, the drama is not that Boogie is dead. And stop looking at my porn tabs. How dare you? Don't look at my fucking porn tabs. Those are private. I put up a video the other day. Giving, you know, it, it's a 50 minute documentary about one of my favorite YouTube channels back when I was a, a young man called Stupid Mario Brothers. And I, I interviewed the man behind the mustache, even though they don't wear a mustache, uh, uh, Rich Alvarez, the creator of Stupid Mario Brothers. I did a whole big interview with him. I went through the history of the show. I, I interviewed some of his former colleagues to settle the score on a bit of drama. And now he has revealed in his subreddit and he, he tagged at everyone. He tagged at everyone in the post. So I assume at everyone also includes my live stream chat <laughs> that he's not a fan. So I want to go through his response and uh, the response of his uh, friends in the subreddit or not subreddit. Why am I saying subreddit? It's a discord. I'm very, very drunk tonight, folks, in case you can't tell. Uh, oh, so Golden Coast wants to know how drunk am I? And if you're sending super chats, I'm going to get to them eventually. So sorry. I, I wanted to go through this stuff first. Uh, we, we, we went out for dinner. Me and Sheepover had some drinks. I ate some very, very spicy chicken wings. So um, I don't know if I'm going to vomit up the booze first or if I'm going to have diarrhea of a hot, a hot sauce first. Who knows? Anyway, so Rich Alvarez posts in his Discord. Hi, everyone. This is Rich. I just want to say, and in, in case you don't know, this is the guy who, you know, maybe maybe I lambasted a bit too hard in my video. Maybe maybe I revealed some uh, some secrets uh, by interviewing his former friend. Who knows? I, I thought I was perfectly fair. My closest friends thought that the video was perfectly fair. It was just a piece of, in my mind, documentary filmmaking. I was I was doing... Uh, research, you know, it's journalism to interview people and to ask them questions. It's journalism. So I don't think I went too far. Rich Alvarez says, hi everyone. This is rich. I just want to say to all of you who have stuck with us and continued to give your support. I thank you dearly to those of you who may be wondering if I'm going to lash out about the monkey video. I am not. First of all, whew, ooh, load off my back. Thank God. I can't imagine what it would be like if Rich Alvarez wanted to lash out about my video. <laughs> I'd be fucked. Game over, son. Channel deleted. It, it, it'd be the content cop of 2018. I, I don't think I could survive such a such a lashing out. Um, but so far, so good. Rich goes on to say, I'll just say a bit here. I was under the impression that we were just doing a simple interview video and that we weren't going to get into heavy topics. Now, now here's where I got to peel back the curtain a little bit, give you a little behind the scenes look at how this all happened. Because yes, Rich Alvarez is correct in stating that perhaps I was a bit, not malicious, but uh, 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 what, what, what's the word for deceptive? Deceptive. Maybe, maybe I was a little bit deceptive because going into the interview, it was from the point of view of, hey, I'm a huge fan who loves all of your work, which to be fair, I am a huge fan. I just don't love all of his work as the documentary I posted yesterday uh, would lead one to believe. I, I love Rich Alvarez's videos. He was a huge part of my childhood. 
he inspired. If you've seen Mumkashi Chronicles that I put up at last January, that show would not exist if not for Stupid Mario Brothers. That is my version of Stupid Mario Brothers. I mean, when I was a kid, he was the like he said, it was the fucking bee's knees. Huge fan. And I was actually quite nervous to interview him because I have been such a huge fan for so long. And uh, anybody who knows me knows that when it comes to interacting, not with celebrities, but with people who have had an, an emotional impact on me, people who I have been just a huge fan of and and just emotionally attached to their content for years, it's very difficult for me to interact with them. So just going into the interview that we scheduled through his friend Garrett, Garrett Allen, who was the second guy in the interview, it, it was very uh, nerve-wracking for me to go into that. But here's where, when he says, when he says, uh, I was under the impression we were just doing a simple interview video and that we were not going to get into heavy topics. I'm going to have to call foul on that, Rich, because here's where I fucked up. We did an interview. I don't remember when. I think it was, I, I'm making up a month, but it was a long time ago. We did like a, an interview for this video, like in November of 2017. And I asked the same exact questions. And the heavy topics thing he's referring to is me asking him about the breakup between he and Dane Kevin Cook. I asked the same exact questions, word for word. And then dumbass me, cleaning out my computer the next day, I forget that I did not properly save the interview footage, and I accidentally deleted the folder that it was in and then emptied out the recycling bin because I needed to clean out my computer. So I thought, oh, oh fuck. I ruined it. I had this big documentary that was going to be so heartfelt and meaningful to me that I've been wanting to make for 10 years, and I just fucking ruined it. I deleted everything. Um, and I let them know, and, and, um, and Garrett, who is a, a tech savvy person was very helpful. He tried to send me software to help me get the footage back and all that, but it just didn't work. So then we decide, I think it was in April to do the interview again. They said, you know what? You know, we forgive you, monkey. You fucked up. Let's just, let's just do it again. And we did the same exact interview again. So for him to imply that he did not know that question was coming is completely fucking retarded. Because I, I asked the same exact questions because we did the interview twice. We did the interview twice. Anyway, let's keep going through Rich Alvarez's uh, paragraph. I responded vaguely to heavy topics, as I usually do, because I have always considered my personal business personal. That's fair. That, that's fair. I got nothing against that. If you, I mean, if you don't want to talk about something, uh, you don't have to talk about it. It just so happened that the other person in the story did want to talk about it. Uh, had I known that Jax, uh, AKA his girlfriend, Jackie, who was the crux of the dramatic story, uh, and I were going to be attacked. Now, when he says we're going to be attacked, I'm not sure if he means by me or by Dane Kevin Cook, because I certainly did not attack the, his, his girlfriend or him on a personal level, at least according to me. I don't think I did. Uh, I criticized his content, but I was very specific in the video that I don't hate him as a person. I just find um, his content to be no longer the the, the glorious uh, Mario parody videos that I loved in the past and that his Patreon practices I found to be a bit scumbaggy. But I wouldn't call that a, a personal attack. Perhaps he's referring to Dan Kevin Cook's email where he says that Rich and Friends are extremely toxic people who start rumors about people and try to ruin their lives by saying that they're insane and they, they steal people's girlfriends and stuff. But we're about to get into that even more. Now, had I known that Jax and I were going to be attacked, I would have been more specific with my answers. Now, that is interesting to me. I wish after getting the Dane Kevin Cook interview, I would have went back to Rich and them and said, hey, uh, let's, do a, let's do part two of this interview for this video. Why is everybody saying F? Did Boogie die again? <laughs> Are they saying F because my microphone died or because Boogie died? I have to assume it's because Boogie is dead again. Rip Boogie dead at VidCon via heart attack. That's too bad. That's too bad. Re Reactor just took a picture with him. Reactor must be heartbroken. <laughs> what do you mean he isn't dead? Of course he's dead. Boogie died. Whenever somebody starts a live stream on YouTube, Boogie dies. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's my favorite meme from live streams. Uh, where, what was my train of thought? I, I got lost. I would have been more specific with my answers. I should have gone back to Rich and said, hey, so I, I interviewed Dane Kevin Cook. And this is what he had to say. What is your response to this? What's your side of the story? And I still want to get his side of the story. After he posted this on his Discord, I went to, uh, I posted it on uh, Twitter and I, I tagged him and I said, hey, Rich, you know what? I want to be fair. Let's get your side of the story. Come on, let's do interview part two. You and Jew and Jackie can come on. I have yet to get a response from anybody involved. So maybe, maybe they don't want to give their side of the story. Even Rich. Rich, if you want to cash in on this video and get some views on your channel again, you should just record your side of the story and post it to your channel yourself. Probably be, it would probably be your most viewed video in at least a year. Because, I mean, it, like once you hit 3,000 views, you're going to pass that threshold real fast. <laughs> People have joined the, this Discord under the name monkey, please notice me. Unfortunately, I'm not scrolled down to the bottom yet. I'm still stuck up here. Uh, I imagine the, the Discord is uh, freaking out that I'm reading this shit. Maybe I'll get kicked out <laughs> before I can finish the paragraph. Uh, uh, um, Fridge says, don't believe everything you see in the video. Jackie and I have a side to the story that went completely unheard. Really, I think that's on you. I gave both parties equal opportunity. I asked them the same exact question. Why did you... Why did Rich and Dane break up? What happened? I feel like I was fair. I gave them both equal opportunity to present their side of the story, but he's upset that he didn't know the other guy was also telling his side of the story. So he, he got to be a lot more vague than he would have been because he didn't know perhaps more layers of the story were going to be revealed. Uh, I wish we would have been told the context. The context was I wanted to know why you two broke up. That's the exact question I asked. And Jax for sure should have been interviewed. I agree. Let's get Jax on. I want to hear what Jackie has to say. And Monkey, tags me specifically, should not have just taken the word of one man as the absolute truth, but that's life. We move on. I didn't take his word as absolute truth. I presented both of your stories, and then I laughed and said it was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> because I find I find um, autistic conflict between internet friends to be beautiful. And uh, I think, did I just get scrolled down? No, yeah, okay. I th for a second, I thought I got kicked, but I guess I accidentally scrolled myself down. Um, and then uh, all his friends uh, in the Discord wanted to talk shit. They said, kid only wanted drama, real talk. Yeah, yeah, that's why I made my 51-minute stupid Mario Brothers review documentary because I just wanted drama, even though it was just 10 minutes in the middle where I uh, reveal the truths and the, the untold stories behind the biggest controversy in the show's history. But no, I guess I just wanted drama. Us loyal fans are always behind your back, Richie. See, uh, you say we've got your back. Behind your back implies you're going to Julius Caesar stab him in the back. But before I keep going through this, let's uh, let's see if I can scroll back up and do all these super chats that I missed. Ah, uh, it won't let me scroll all the way back up. Let's see if I can pop out chat and scroll back up. Come on, let me scroll back up to the top. Or why isn't there an option to just see super chats? This is fucking horse shit. Come on. Okay, well we've got Jay London for 19.99 who says you're too good for Rich Alvarez. Here's some gas, yo. I thought your video was done respectfully and with tons of reverence. He's butthurt. He doesn't have the viewers or subs you have. He used to have all those things. Uh, let's see. How do I? How the fuck do I scroll back up? It won't even let me scroll up anymore in the chat. That's fucked because I got a lot of super chats. Uh, Klarth1234 for two A dollars says blacks.com slash Asterios. I think we can all agree to go check that out. Does anybody have a suggestion for how to fucking scroll back up? It won't let me scroll all the way back up. Yeah, rip super chat messages. Yeah, what's going on? I don't know. I don't know. We'll uh, maybe maybe at the end of the show I can try to read all of them, but I'm not sure. Anyway, we got more. Because then Rich goes to YouTube and he posts this comment on the actual video, which is more or less the same shit. Uh, just thought I'd say my bit whenever the hard questions come up in interviews. I am usually vague out of respect for all parties involved. What I thought was mutual, mutual respect. 
So he's vague for all parties involved, which implies him and Dane Kevin Cook. And uh, he was surprised that Dane Kevin Cook did not have the same vague respect for him. Uh, A.K.A. Dane was much more open and honest. Uh, Rich goes on to say, And I did think that this was just going to be an interview. Well, that's exactly what it was. Uh, it was an interview. I asked you a question. You did not give a, a very honest answer. Or at least a an openly honest answer. You, you went, And I'm going to read these super chats as they come in now in case I lose them again. I'm going to try to find the old ones. Don't worry. Rude's beginning for $10 says, Why do your friends turn into woozies? Uh, you must be confused. I don't recall having any friends. <laughs> what friends could you even be referring to? Uh, uh, Asperger? Is he a woozy? What's a woozy? Um, uh, and I did think that this was just going to be an interview. I didn't realize that Dane had been asked. What? So your version of the truth is dependent on whether or not the other guy in the argument <laughs> was given the opportunity to uh, answer about the events that unfolded. It's very strange to me. Not for $1.99 says, Rip Boogie, are you excited to duel me, cuckold? Yeah, not I'm excited to duel you. I can't wait. Get your game on, my friend. There is more to this story than what he said, and now I am regretting not being more specific in my answers, which is why I've given you the... I'm presenting a golden platform for you to clear the air. If, if Dane Kevin Cook was full of shit with all the stuff he said, I want you rich... To come back on, I have no animosity against you. I know you have animosity against me now because I criticized your show for um, ultimately decaying in quality. Uh, but I, I still really like you. I'm still subscribed to your channel. Uh, I know I'm, I might seem like an asshole for presenting both sides of a story and criticizing videos that I thought were bad, but I still... Uh, I still have uh, respect for you, Rich, and I would love to have you back on to hear your side of the story, which is why I'm probably leaving this live stream up at least as unlisted so that you can eventually hear this yourself. Um, uh, there's more to the story than what he said now. Okay, uh, some guy for two Canadians says, sorry, I'm poor as shit. Well, you got more money than most of these people, so don't worry. Anyway, um, uh, Jack and I do have a side of the story that was not discussed here, and Jackie is really loading, loading crew says, promote our stream. Hey, everybody! The Loading Crew is a YouTube channel that does this Pokemon um, Dungeons and Dragons sort of thing. And I'm going to be on it this Monday. Go, if you want to watch me, you can either go subscribe to the Loading Crew channel right now or follow me on Twitter because I'm going to post a link to it. And maybe I'll, uh, I'll post a video to Monkey Jones 2 right before it starts. But I am the main villain. I'm like the, the big final boss in this live stream they're doing on Monday. And all the heroes are trying to defeat me, and I have, like, Ultra Necrozma and all this shit, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Over on the Loading Crew channel, go check it out. Asmo for Dolly99 says, Shadman needs to make a uh, boogie porn respect comic. Shadman, don't tell Shadman what to do. He can do whatever he wants. He's, uh, he's the king of his own castle. <laughs> um, okay, here's where it gets interesting about the idea of stealing a girlfriend. Jackie should have been interviewed as she was made the scapegoat here. She was not stolen. She is not property. That's actually something I agree with. Um, uh, he, he seems to be implying that I'm taking Dane Kevin Cook's side completely. Not necessarily. I I do really like Dane Kevin Cook as a person, and I, uh, from what I've seen of the Uncle Dane channel, I, I think he's a, a great content creator. But the idea of stealing somebody's girlfriend, me personally, I find, uh, you know, I mean... Yeah, girls are human beings. They're not they're not property to be, to be stolen. They have emotions and feelings and they can choose to go date somebody else. My uh what's going on in here? People must be at every me or something. <laughs> they're all tagging me. <laughs> yeah. Wow, the the whole Discord is going to come check me out. Fun. <laughs> Who's Monkey? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Who is Monkey? <laughs> Well, hey, entire Discord, welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome to the show. Uh, hopefully screen sharing does not give you guys the audio so you guys can't hear the fucking beeps of me getting all this shit. Uh, super chats that are coming in real quick. Um, Rude's Beginning says, all your internet associates are giant virgins. Uh, sure, that's fair. I, I'm pretty sure Asperger is a virgin, so that works. Bedhead Bernie, probably a virgin. 
Daniel Rule for 999 says, Monkey, my man, how does it feel to have a creator you respect to take a huge dump on you for giving him more attention than his pathetic channel will ever get? I don't think he took a huge dump on me. I think he was just, uh, things did not go the way he expected. And he was like, I, I don't know, disappointed or perhaps perplexed, maybe scared of the unnecessary attention, the unexpected attention to his uh, personal dramas. But really, I mean, when you're that famous and popular, um, I, I don't want to say celebrities aren't people who deserve privacy, but when you're a public figure and uh, something happens publicly like this um, and somebody involved gets interviewed, I don't think you should really be upset about it. Like, oh, man, oh, I'm a public figure who was involved in, in a big drama that affected millions of people. And the other guy was interviewed and, and gave an honest answer. Oh, how could this happen? Sasha Vala Court for uh, 1399 Canadian says, funnily enough, my first exposure with Stupid Mario Brothers was actually an adaptation of the series done in Flipnote Studio for the DSi. So your doc gave me a huge wave of nostalgia. The video has a lot of comments about this Flipnote Studio shit, and I've never heard of it. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm, uh, is it worth checking out? Because I've, I've seen a lot of people talk about that. Uh, 2012 MySpace Emo throws in 14.99. Thank you for coming back, our 11-year-old patron friend. Buff Cat for Adolio 99 says, "Yo, Mumkey, babe, it's me, dude. Buff Cat, what the fuck? I said our relationship was a secret, dude. My girlfriend's watching this shit. Come on, you can't be posting that shit in public. What the fuck's wrong with you? Anyway, back to this. Um, uh, uh she was not stolen. She's not property. I agree." Uh, I think Jackie is a very wonderful person. I actually had a line in the documentary where I said, uh, see that girl right there? She's Jackie, and she's a delightful person. But the when I said she's a delightful person, it sounded really creepy. So I cut that part out because I just I delivered the the line very strangely. But I, I, I have no animosity or anything of the sort towards Jackie. Um, it's unfortunate that that she had to be brought into this, but I was just reading the answer of the other guy involved in the drama. I think that Jackie is great, and I, I've, of course, I have nothing against her. Silver the Reaper for five Canadians says, Monkey, show everyone the in Starbucks pictures that I sent you. Also, I hope you buy a nice meal with all the money I have given you. Oh, it's, I'm gonna buy a, a super nice meal. It's gonna be called My Last Supper. Uh, before I kill myself, I'm gonna use all your money to buy, like, I guess some spicy chicken wings. Um, a crab leg, a lobster claw. 2012 MySpace emo for 4.99 says I have nothing to say about this. Thank you for contributing then to the to the discussion. Zachary Liston for 4.99 says What do you mean privacy? Commissar Stalin says there is none. Shall I call the NKVD on you are black as? That was just a potpourri of words. I don't even know what was going on there. Everybody's saying F again. How many times is Boogie going to die in one stream? <laughs> they keep reviving him. They keep shocking his heart back to life. But then he stuffs in another fucking Dunkin' Donut. And he, <laughs> and he just collapses in a heart attack again. Again. Just jargon. Did you ever expect this response from him? I mean, I'm, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised. Stop fucking posting F. It makes me think that the stream is dying. Anyway, let's finish this fucking YouTube comment. Um, she is a very intelligent person who can make up her own mind about things. I agree. Dane wanted out of Mario before we had the falling out, as I said. Sure. <laughs> Megan Hertz wants to know, fuck you, where's Brandon? Uh, Asperger does not want to be on streams for another week, he said. He said he's uh, been relapsing and wants some time to himself. So I'm going to try to respect that, even though I call him a faggot in private all the time. Uh, our friendship has um, falling apart had nothing to do with Mario, and therefore I feel it's irrelevant to the picture. I see where you're coming from, but the story I was presenting was Stupid Mario Brothers, the series from beginning to end, and a major character and actor being removed from the show, I think is relevant to the story of Stupid Mario Brothers, which is why I thought it was appropriate to ask. Like I said earlier, I interviewed you twice and asked the same question twice. And neither time you said, hey, man, I don't want to talk about that. Let's not include this at all. So, I mean, it, it seems you were and you gave a full five minute answer. So it's not like you were going to say ah, it, it was nothing. I don't want to talk about it. You you fucking gave an answer. I of course I was going to present it. Nick Alvarado for five dollars says do another Chamber of Depression live stream. 
Yeah, I'll probably do another depression chamber sometime, which is just a show where people send in emails talking about their battles with depression. And I uh, talk like I read their emails. It's over on my channel, Monkey's Countdown to to uh, demonetization. But I'm I'm no longer using that channel. I'll probably do those depression live streams on the <laughs> Mr. Sharpietti spiral stream is better. You're probably right. Mr. Sharpietti does great live streams. But I'll probably do the rest of the depression streams on Monkey Jones 2, or maybe even on this channel, because uh, Monkey Jones 2 currently cannot live stream, which is why I keep live streaming on this. Why the resolution? Man, I don't, I don't know. It, it, what is it, in 240p? And as long as you guys can get the gist. I, my computer sucks. I'm getting a better computer probably next month, so then my live streams will actually be of quality. Let's finish this email, or this uh, comment. Uh, the 2010 falling out was because of a bad business decision and lack of communication, nothing to do with Jackie. According to uh, Dane Kevin Cook, the 2010 fallout was because you guys were hired to do a National Park Service documentary series, and at the last second, you chose not to include him for whatever reason, and he said it was because you did not get along with his girlfriend, Jackie. Um, so I, I, I think he begs to differ on that point. Um, in particular, M Megan Hertz wants to know, where's your tab of scat porn before I did a live stream showing my browser. Of course, I exited out of all my fucking scat porn, Megan. What do you, what do you think I'm going to do? Leave that shit open. <laughs> uh, if you wanted to know what happened in 2013, you should have really asked Jackie. I, what do you mean? If I wanted to know what happened in 2013, you're acting like going into our interview. I knew all these fucking details. All I knew is that he stopped being on the show. I didn't know that you had a falling out in 2010 and a, and a follow-up falling out in 2013. I, I had no information of any of that. But if you really want Jackie to give her side of the story, again, she is invited with open arms to this channel anytime. I will not be rude to her or even you. I'll be very kind and, and welcoming to both of you because I still respect both of you as people. I still uh, would like to watch your content improve. And I have nothing against anybody. I would love to have both you and Jackie on to give you side of the story. Uh, it's not my story to tell. Perfect. Let's get her on. Let's get her on right now. She can call into the Google Hangout. Somebody uh, hit her up. I would have really appreciated a heads up to exactly what was happening here so we could defend ourselves. Man, like, if you have to defend yourself from the truth, I don't know what to tell you. I gave you both equal opportunity to tell your side of the story and the other guy was just more open than you were. You should have just been honest from the beginning. It's not really on me. This is a very skewed version of the truth. Well, then you should have given your version of the truth when I gave you the opportunity. That's not on me. It's not my fault. Dan Kevin Cook was more open. And this uh, looks like this. I've ruined this discord. Sheep is sending me a bunch of messages, but I'm not going to open them for all of you. So I guess I'll have to open them on my own, on my phone real quick. <laughs> Wow, you guys have destroyed this Discord. All the people in general chat in the in the voice channel just have my name. Rip Booger2174. Wow, you guys, uh, how'd you guys even I didn't link to this? They can't blame me for this. I did not link to this fucking server. I don't know what's going on. Wait, oh, that's not the real sheep over. Yeah, so good thing I didn't open that. Somebody is pretending pretending to be sheep over and sent me a whole bunch of fucking porn that would have got my whole account ruined. So good thing I didn't click on that message. Let's uh, uh Fraser Danger says God's throbbing hard cock is here for you. I think. Well, there's a bunch of F's and I lost it. Uh Sasha Villancourt for 699 Canadian says to explain Flipnote Studio was Nintendo's own animation program for their DSI console whose online was taken down in 2013. And they had like their own version of Stupid Mario Brothers. Is that what you're saying? Or like they they made an animated version? I'm not sure even what's going on. Um, also, the sequel to that program on the 3DS has its online removed due to pedos not kidding. Well, evidently, wow, this fucking subreddit is ruined. I should actually get out of here before somebody posts porn and gets me fucked. Um, evidently, somebody hacked the Switch. <laughs> that poor subreddit. Or I keep saying subreddit. It's a Discord. Uh, tragic. Uh, they hacked the Switch so that they can upload uh, pornography and that little kids playing the Mario Odyssey balloon adventure are now seeing balloons with like pictures of dicks on them. <laughs> Which is was pretty funny and sad. 
Manabi says, who says creative differences like that'll satisfy? Yeah, if you, if you answer with creative differences, you're just begging for a researcher to find a better answer. You know, it's kind of on you, I think. Uh, Belle Noel for 420 says, one nude, please, and thank you. You're going to have to go ask the fake sheep over for that nude. And I'm, I got to exit out of this fucking Discord because obviously it's, <laughs> it's gone to shit. I'm not saying who, but somebody ruined it. The Discord is now full of porn. Well, thank God I exited out. <laughs> what? Guys, come on, man. Like, man, the fuck, the PCP kicked me off because they thought that I didn't control my fans well enough. I I'm sort of in the boat where I don't think anybody should have to control their fans. But let me just say, don't harass anybody involved in any of the things I talk about. Don't harass Rich Alvarez or his girlfriend or, or Uncle Dane. Don't go into their Discord servers and post porn and ruin it. Because they're just gonna make people upset, and there's no there's no need for that. There's no need for that, regardless of how funny it may be. Regardless of how funny, there's it should not be done. Terrible, terrible. No, my mic is not dead. I I see the red light on. Nice try. But all these F's are very confusing. All these F's are very confusing. Wow, this is the most viewers I've had. For any live stream ever, uh, almost 2,000 people watching now. I think my record was like 1,400 before. <laughs> no, nobody DM Cream Man the fucking Discord. Don't do that. Don't do that. Well, I don't really know what to show over here now. I mean, I uh, I was going to go through all the Discord responses that Rich Alvarez fans had, but clearly that's not an option now. But I posted on here. Yo, if you and Jackie want a second go at the interview, I'm open for business. And I posted a screenshot of what Richie had to say. And, uh, you know, we got some thoughts. Shal Arpton said, let's be 100% candid. If you want Mumkey to take your word, you have to give him a word. If you and Jackie have a side, fucking say it. Don't brush it off as creative differences. If you refuse to talk, that is it being ignored. And I'm more or less in the same boat as that. Anyway, uh, now that I'm too scared to go into that Discord, I think I'm going to focus on just reading the chat here. So welcome to the AMA portion of the show. Don't know why it's trying to make me change the title of this live stream. There we go. Um, did they DMCA your video? Oh, did the video get taken down? I don't think it got taken down. I, th I think it's still up. Maybe it's not. Let's take a look-see. I don't think they DMCA'd my video, but maybe something happened while we were live streaming, and I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. No, it's still up as far as I can see. Looks like it's still up to me. Evidently, this uh, stupid Mario Brothers video that I did, that, I'm, that we were talking about all night, was number 20 trending in the UK today. Very strange. I don't think I've ever had a video on YouTube trending, let alone specifically UK trending, let alone specifically number 20. And I, I tried to look up and see if that was true, but I could not find any evidence except one person posted a screenshot. Very strange. Why is the UK so into my Mario video? It has 43,000 views. So if it's trending, it's not getting very many views. Oh, wow. Anonymous is back for $100. Holy shit. He sent me $100 last time. He's the guy who... The only reason why I posted the documentary yesterday was because he sent me so much money because I was so bummed out that it got demonetized that I didn't even want to post it. But he sent me money and changed my mind. He says, hey, Mumkey, call everyone in the chat gay again. I feel like you're going easy on Rich because you see yourself in the future. However, if your channel dies, as long as you're not washed up trying to regain your glory and pretending 200 views is a lot, you'll be fine. Yeah, it, one of the sadder parts of the documentary is when Rich in the interview says um, he doesn't think that his channel is dead. When I think objectively it is, um, anybody when you look at his sub count compared to his views, it's like, it's not, not even on life support. It's just straight up dead. And that's, uh, it's kind of sad. Um, you feel like I'm going easy on rich. I, I'm not trying to go easy or hard on him. I'm just trying to be honest. Perhaps, uh, honesty is too harsh in some cases, evidently in this case in particular, but I feel like I'm, I'm just being, uh, as, uh, you know, honest and, and non, attacking as I can. I don't feel like I've attacked him on a personal level. I think I've just discussed things as they happened or as people claim they happened. And I've given everybody equal opportunity to express themselves. And I gave my opinions on his show and that's it. 
Night OTM for four ninety nine says Monkey. I was in a video of his. Check the sack anime twenty sixteen twenty seventeen. He uploaded. I'm the guy in the alien suit. Um, yeah, I've I've watched a few of his sack anime videos. Uh, they're um, they're something. I mean, some of the people he interviews are better than others. You're probably one of the more cringy ones. I have to imagine. <laughs> Howlers for one ninety nine says, "Can we copy Strike Rich Alvarez?" No. Do nothing bad to Rich Alvarez. I, I like the man. Hottie McThotty for $2. Send the goddamn gis Discord link, you chimp. No, I'm not linking to the Rich Alvarez Discord. I I should probably actually abandon it before they start yelling at me for people entering it. Um, nobody go in there. Nobody post anything there unless you're a fan and you want to be nice. Just Jargon for $2 says, I'm afraid we must break up. Hashtag Mario stands with monkey. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Um, I scroll back down to the bottom. Did I miss any super chats? It doesn't look like I missed any recently. Okay, let's go back to normie chat. Run, monkey, run. Yeah, I need to get out of here. Can you guys find the rich... El no, no. <laughs> I'm done talking about their Discord. Monkey likes being hard in men. Yeah, in men and on men. I'm, uh, I'm really hard for men. Bell Tower 576 Mumkey, will you play Fallout 76 with me when it comes out? I'll send you a link to my Discord server. Just hit me up, fam. It'll be lit. Um, I would, but I'm not ever going to purchase or play that game. So yeah, I cannot. I'm not interested in Fallout games or really any new games. It, it's not going to happen, but I appreciate the offer. I'm sure it would be a lot of fun. Howlers for 499 says, if your channel dies, you better take the whole school <laughs> with you. Uh, no, there's no chance. There's no chance. Uh, Kawaii Potato for $2 says women are property. Rich Alvarez and I tend to disagree. We don't see women as property. We see them as their own individual people with their own emotions and own choices in life. And that if, if your girlfriend decides to cuck you for a different man, that, that man did not steal your girl. It was not Mr. Steal Yo Girl. Uh, the woman shows perhaps the, the, <laughs> the the something man give me an adjective the the uh the redder man because he plays mario perhaps he's the redder man M ms or uh oh for two dollars says kiwis equal monkey eggs they can't cover up the truth not sure what that means but i guess uh, that's out that's out there now everybody's heard that now why isn't the triflers in paperback It'll come back. I've been really uh, lazy about that. It's currently only available as an ebook on whatever that fucking website is. But I will put it back either on Amazon or maybe I'll try Lulu again, even though Lulu cucked me, but who knows. Uh, it'll be back in print uh, eventually. So look forward to that. Cuddle Muffins for $5 says, I feel like Rich is just butthurt because his channel isn't as great as it used to be. His channel is like frozen and he's Disney trying to milk it. I mean, that's sort of the whole point of the documentary is the idea of achieving your dreams, living it out, and then watching as it fades away. And no matter how hard you try, you can't stop it. And then you're back into obscurity. And the thing about addiction is that once you like get the, the taste of the good stuff, you're always trying to catch that dragon again. And that's how he feels, only he can't just go buy another fucking dime bag. He has like he keeps trying to make Mario videos and stuff, but it's just not working anymore, and he's fucked. And the channel's dead and he can't get it back. And it's really rough. And it's a fear that I think all YouTubers have is the day when the day comes that the same thing happens to them. And they're just uh, daydreaming of their former glory days while their videos rake in fucking eight, 18 views. It fucking sucks. So, I, yeah, of course he's butthurt. I'm going to be butthurt in, in 18 months when it happens to me. Figglehorn168 or 165 for 499 says, Jumpy Moans is going to tickle your pickle. Also, nut on me. Sure thing, bud. I'll nut on you. It's the least I can do. Howlers wants to know, don't you think the guy who killed Hitler was a great guy? Well, of course. I, I said this on Twitter a few days ago, and I'll say it again. I think that the man who killed Hitler deserves his own statue. He's a hero. We should have statues of him in every town and every city in the entire world. And it says, honor this man, for he killed... He... he, he the. <laughs> He murdered those who deserved it. Uh, whoever I don't remember what the name of the guy was, but <laughs> but he, he deserves a statue. Infinity Ring Ascended says, Daz the Sauce Master. Not sure what that means. 
Not sure what that means. Ishma boy for five dollars says the adjective you were looking for was Chad. She chose the Chad man. That may be correct. Um, I think that Uncle Dane is also a Chad, but uh, but who knows? M maybe he lost his Chad status. Mister Mister Alternator for seven ninety nine says I think that Rich couldn't adapt to the ironic or post ironic eras of YouTube. Super Mario Brothers uh, could uh, could have only lasted for so long. Yeah, that's a problem when you're trying to be genuine. A genuinity does not work on YouTube anymore. You, you got to be like a sarcastic asshole who in their own videos says, hey, man, doesn't my video fucking suck? Look how shitty this is. I, uh, YouTube sure is dumb. Uh, that's really that's what I try to put into my videos. Like, I, I don't take it even when I go serious, like in that documentary, I have to end it with a non-serious thing like call me a retard when my channel dies, you know, you can't be too serious about yourself. And yes, stupid Mario brothers never really embraced the irony of it. It was always like serious. And when you become a 30 year old still running around in a fucking like cat suit, uh, and you're taking it seriously, it's a tad bit embarrassing. Just a tad. I, I would say not, not everybody would agree. Um, but like filthy Frank, when him and his friends run around in fucking Akatsuki uniforms and like dumb costumes and shit, like they're doing it. <laughs> they don't think that they're the coolest shit ever. They they don't do it because they think it's cool. They do it because it's fucking funny. You got to embrace the irony of it and have fun with it. And I think I think Stupid Mario Brothers is um, a relic of its time. I don't think it belongs in the modern era of YouTube unless they make major changes. Morphison for five dollars says, "Who's better, Hitler or Hitler?" By the way, hey, Mister Teeny, ooh, ooh, ah, uh, how dare you? Do not compare me to Mister Teeny. Disgusting. I am my own monkey. That's the most offensive shit I've ever heard, and I can't believe you would even bring that here. I can't believe you would bring that here. Um, where's the next one? Where's the next one? They're so, uh, they're so scattered. God damn, there's a whole bunch of these. Wow, you guys are really going deep tonight. You guys are you guys home alone on a Saturday. Have nothing better to do, huh? We've got Hottie McThotty says, rate my name zero to ten. Uh, Hottie McThotty, I'll give you a two for the two dollars that you gave me. Two out of ten. Doc Sportello for two dollars says, Asian waifu is sad you haven't replied at OC Sportello. Well, Asian waifu, if you really are an Asian waifu, hit me up. You know, uh, you know where to find me. <laughs> But I'm more into the uh, Luna Lovegood types of waifus, actually. Scrolling down at the speed of sound. Garbage dump for ideas for $5 says, do any YouTuber rebound from the death of their channels? Yeah, all the time. All the time. If I recall, like even the, the Philip DeFranco channel, what, like four or five years ago was kind of falling apart and then he rebranded himself and and stopped being like a, a weirdo and started doing serious news and took himself more seriously um which i guess in the world of news <laughs> don't take the filthy frank route and be more of like uh, a professional but I'm, I'm, i might be wrong but i, I swear I, I heard that philip defranco was like on his last legs not too long ago and then he fixed it I, i'm plenty of youtubers have rebounded like shane dawson shane dawson was big forever ago and then I, I didn't hear about him for like five years until he was like falsely accused of rape or something like that. And then I checked him out and like, it looks like his channel is uh, back to, it's not as big as it used to be, but he's still getting views. Even though I think he made a movie that like sucked more dick than uh, my uncle on a weekend. Uh, I heard that that has a YouTuber ever made a movie that didn't suck. That's my question to the audience. Space cop sucked. AVGN movie sucked. The stupid Mar stupid Mario Brothers movie Act Two was pretty good. Uh, that's probably the best one, which is really sad. Howlers for a nine a dollar ninety nine says prediction on the next content cop. I don't fucking know. I wouldn't be surprised if Idubs never made another content cop. I bet every like every video he puts up gets demonetized. What's even the fucking point? He's probably got enough money now that he can just keep doing uh his uh his mail videos forever he doesn't have to like do the the heavy effort videos anymore because they just get fucking demonetized what's the point pyro cynicals inbred son for two dollars says are you a communist pig or a socialist leader i am the next uh the next of kin i am i'm the next i'm the reincarnation of of uh bernie sanders i am the socialist leader that we've all 
that we've all been dying for. Rip Alvarez is funny. Uh, Rich Alvarez thinks women are property. I didn't say that. Don't quote me as saying that. I'm just saying. No, no. Rich Alvarez said women are not property. Rich Alvarez implied that Dane Kevin Cook, Uncle Dane, thinks that women are property, which I don't think is what he said at all. I'm just reading what people said. <laughs> Ficklehorn165 for four ninety nine says, buy me drugs and I'll give you snugs, rar, XD, O-W-O, U-W-O, O dash O O W O. Thanks. Beautiful. Somebody wants me to review Zach and Cody and also Zach and Cody Shippuden. <laughs> That's my favorite. Zach and Cody Shippuden. Is that the show when they're on the fucking the cruise ship? Is Zach and Cody Shippuden? <laughs> I never heard that before. That's really fucking stupid. That's the dumbest shit. Um, I remember trying, I really liked Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and I tried watching the boat show, and I just fucking hated it. But what's up with these shows when they try to reboot themselves to cash in on the nostalgia? I just fucking hate them. I don't, we're two for two now in the last two days. Morphison for two dollars says, I said Hitler or Hilter, <laughs> pronounced Hilter. Oh, my bad. I guess Hilter is the hero in that situation. Reed White throws in a dollar. Thank you so much, Reed White. And didn't, didn't want to say anything, which I appreciate. Morphison for $2 again says Hitler or Hilter. Yeah, I, I heard you the first time. Mr. Al Mr. Alternator, Super Mario Brothers, but it's written by Adult Swim. I don't know about that. I think Adult Swim is a little uh, too hit or miss. Like even shows that I really enjoy, like Tim or Eric, or, or Tim and Eric. Uh, just all, Tim and Eric has a, has a bunch of shows now. Uh, even those are hit or miss. The only Adult Swim show other than, well, no, I guess... I, I, Futurama doesn't count as an Adult Swim show. It was just on Adult Swim back when I was a kid. The only Adult Swim show that I think is perfect, episode by episode, is uh, Dr. Steve Brule. There's no bad episode of that. There's not even a bad scene. It's a perfect show from beginning to end. If you've never seen Dr. Steve Brule, I think it's called... Is it called Check It Out with Dr. Steve Brule? I'm not sure. But it's the best thing that's ever been on Adult Swim unless there's a show I haven't heard of. Like, uh, fucking Rick and Morty, you know, the, the Pickle Rick, you know, the best show ever made. Like, half the episodes now are hit or miss. Not for four ninety nine says XXX Temptation and Coco are very similar because <laughs> they are both apes who are dead. Love you, Monkey. You're a real cutie. Again, that was uh, a message from Nut. Monkey Jones does not condone. <laughs> <laughs> he may or may not have made a similar joke in a recent Coco tribute video on Monkey Jones 2. But uh, reading these words out loud, Monkey Jones does not condone. If the glove does not fit, you must acquit. Graham Shearer for $2 says, are you planning to do a Jurassic World 2 is a Kino? I went to the theater yesterday to go see that movie. Theater was sold out. I said, fuck this. I'm going home. And I'm not planning on going back to see it. Erich said that we should do an episode where he just tells me what happened because it was so crazy and so horrible that it would be a lot of fun for him to like tell me what happened in the movie. So yeah, we will do an Is It Kino for it um, shortly. I don't know when, but probably this weekend, which I guess is tomorrow. Let's go find a thing with the stuff. Howlers for four ninety nine says, when can you and Emp Lemon make the collab of the century? Good news, everybody. If you're a fan of Emperor Lemon, he recently tweeted that we should do a crossover episode, and I retweeted it. And we've been uh, we've been hitting each other up in the DMs, and we already have our big collab video all planned out. Uh, I don't know when it's going to come out. Maybe July or August, but it uh, it should be fun. If, if you enjoyed my recent Rich Alvarez or, or Stupid Mario Brothers video, um, you should enjoy what's to come. And even if you didn't enjoy that, you should enjoy what's to come. It should be funny. Death's flagship for five dollars says, "But Monkey, shouldn't Stupid Mario Brothers be happy you were giving him any attention at all?" Uh, no, not all attention is necessarily good attention. Um, he sh at first he should have been pretty hyped that uh, I was giving like his channel a, a chance for a third wind. Like, oh, like here's here's free advertising. Fifty thousand people are going to see this video of me talking about your channel and how good it used to be. Uh, like, here's your chance to to get a new audience. But the, the flip side of the coin is then when when you introduce something to a big audience, a bunch of fucking assholes go into their Discord and post porn. So it's a, it's a double-edged sword for sure, or maybe just a single-edged sword, but I'm, <laughs> I didn't know it was going to stab him so sharply. 
I just wanted to tell a story. I wanted to give him the opportunity to, to tell his story. I never intended anything uh, bad happen. I didn't intend any bad attention, but it's the internet, so you can't really control that shit. Uh, I'm guessing future YouTubers will not be... They'll probably be a little more hesitant to accept an interview from me, but I'm guessing these people will not do their research and find out the, the consequences of being associated with Monkey Jones. So uh, any future interviewers or uh, people I interview uh, assume that they did not watch my channel. Uh, Kawaii Potato for $5 says, did you hear about Chris Jan groping at games done quick? Pretty messed up. Did Chris Jan, was, was he, she at games done quick? I don't even know what gender they identify as anymore because it's so, they change it all the time. I hope that Chris Jan, what, did he get groped or was he groping people? Sounds unfortunate either way for everybody involved. Figglehorn165 says 190, for 199 when mom takes the fridge door and hits you with it. Not sure what that means. Paul Adu for $2 says, Happy Console Gamers movie was the best YouTube movie. Well, there you go. Uh, clearly, it was better than whatever uh, Laser, Laser Team was. Is that what that was called, Laser Team? That's another YouTube movie I didn't think was very good. Giant Dolphin for $2 says, What Xavier Renegade Angel, best adult swim show? I am familiar with that show, and I did enjoy what I saw. I just haven't watched the whole thing. I've just seen clips, but uh, <laughs> Renegade Angel, Xavier, uh, that's, a, that, that's a psychedelic show for you. I, I've never gotten high and watched it, but I wish I had the opportunity to do so because it sounds like it would just be fucking amazing. Um, wow, so many super chats to go through. Sorry, Normie chat. I got to go through all these. They paid for it. If they, if they stop and I'll read the normie chat, I swear. Mr. Alternator for two ninety nine says, Rich Alvarez is epic, a cool epic Mario show. Good job. Yeah, I guess that's what it would be called if it was on Adult Swim. Musket, Musket Kalen for $5 says, Monkey Jones does not condone should be a catchphrase. It should. With this fucking fan base, you guys harassing people's discords and shit. Just instead of posting subscribe to Monkey Jones, my old catchphrase, just post Monkey Jones does not condone so that everybody knows that I, I had nothing to do with their pain. <laughs> it's like that the Spectre, the new Bond movie, when um, when Christoph Waltz says, uh, Mr. Bond, I am the author of all your suffering. Uh, I'm the opposite. I'll say, Rich Alvarez, I had nothing to do with your suffering. <laughs> I didn't tell them to do it. I, Monkey Jones does not condone. Say it with me, folks, in the chat. Monkey Jones does not condone. Ishma boy for $5. Would you be interested in going on the official podcast? I think you'd be a great fit. By the way, I'm the same dude who tried to get you on uh, Drunken Peasants before it ended. Did Drunken Peasants end? I thought they were still doing that. I thought Endless Jess was like the new host or something. That's what I heard. Never watched that show. But uh, I've answered this question a lot this week. And yes, I'm interested in going on the official podcast, although I've never listened to it before. Um, I, would, I would like to be invited, but I don't think Critical ever will. And I'm not expecting him to. But if it happened, I would. If he invited me, I would be on there in a heartbeat. Um, SG Riz WD two four eight throws in a dollar. Thank you. Howlers for dollar ninety nine says make one on the anime hero Justin Y. I was going to make a video about Justin Y, but then everybody else did. So now there's nothing else to say about it. I try to make videos about things that nobody else has said most of the time. Buff Cat is back again for four ninety nine. Monkey, do me, you, and Sheepover need to talk about our relationship? Also, if we get 10 people, we can make a religion where we worship Junkie. Love you. I am interested in doing a Junkie religion if anybody wants to join. We can do a Junkie uh, worshiping religion. Um, yeah, you can hit up Sheepover about our open relationship where I'm only allowed to have sex with you, Buff Cat. But uh, it's really up to her. Monkey Jones does not condone being interviewed by Monkey Jones, they say. Graham Shear for two dollars says thought it was a mess but had some cool direction. Uh, I don't remember what you're talking about, but uh, I agree. I agree completely. Everybody saying Monkey Jones does not condone. Thank you. Thank you. It's true. It's true. Got to scroll back up. Um, uh, Grizz, whatever for five dollars says. Wait, what the fuck happened? I missed the start. If you missed what we're talking about, go to my Twitter. It's right here on the screen. I, post, I posted a screenshot of Rich Alvarez, the guy who did Stupid Mario Brothers. I posted a screenshot of his reaction to my video yesterday, and he is less than impressed. We'll say that, and you can go read that on my Twitter. 
Shadow of Colossus 103 for five dollars says too long didn't read. Chris attended too many games, kissed people who didn't want to be kissed, and was kicked out after having an autistic fit right beforehand. Will Chris Chan ever get a break? All he, all he she does is getting get into mischief. It's the anime character who who, who never who never got published. Jason Pratt for $1.99 says uh, 51.1789 degrees north, 1.826 degrees west. Who knows where that's who knows where that's leading to? Jinx Reload Vivo says that there's minion porn in the Discord. Once again, Monkey Jones does not condone. Rootless Cosmopolitan for $2 says the Spoonie movie was the best YouTube movie. Wait, when did that come out? I've been waiting at least five years for the Spoonie movie. What did I miss the trailer? I, I'm pretty sure I, I bought advanced tickets to see that screening. How did I miss the Spoonie movie coming out? 2012 MySpace email for $14.99. This fucking 11 year old kid has deep pockets. This is the last bit of money I can give you for a while because I'm planning on a short film and planning another. Are you really fucking 11? Because according to your profile, you are. How the fuck are you making a short film? When, how do you have money when you're 11? Another, I'm hoping you have another film short contest because I think you might like it. Yeah, I'm doing another short film contest like three weeks from today, mid-July. Keep your eye on this channel. I'm going to make the announcement. Don't try to make your video early because it's going to have specific rules. It's going to have a specific genre that you need to incorporate in some way, um, a specific character name, and a specific line of dialogue. So if you want to like, you know, get your crew together to start planning the short film, that's fine. But the specifics... Um, I have not yet revealed, but look forward to that. Monkey Jones is not condone. Monkey Jones got the dome. Monkey Jones condones. Not true, a nerd with a mic. Not true. <laughs> Invalid statement. Figglehorn165 for $4.99 says, what's the difference between a parking spot and a baby? I pull out of the parking spot. <laughs> also, Nunkey Nudes does not condone. Well, <laughs> what are you going to do? monkey jones does not condone you're all right the official podcast is awful worst podcast ever i'm pretty sure all of my podcasts are probably worse than the official podcast so let's not say worst podcast ever ocean man for ten dollars says ironically enough i was thinking about stupid mario brothers when i turned on my phone and saw your video i found out about stupid mario brothers my friend's brother cracked his head jumping on a sofa my he had to stay over for the night I think you lost your train of thought, or perhaps I just could not understand it, but that is an interesting story. Hentai Lover for $2 says, was my original donation read? I didn't hear it yet. Maybe it was. I don't remember. There's too many of these. I can't keep track. I'm sorry. I uh, I do not condone. <laughs> Monkey Jones does not condone. Let's scroll back up, because it took me back down to the bottom. And I need to take a drink of water anyway. Mr. Alternator for $2.99 says, first episode, Mario gets a vasectomy. The first episode of the, the Adult Swim show that you're pitching or the first episode of Stupid Mario Brothers? Because maybe I missed a bit of subtext in Stupid Mario Brothers. I don't remember a scene when Mario gets a vasectomy. Joe Musashi for $1.99 wants to know, what is the best synchro monster? Without a shadow of a doubt, my favorite synchro monster is Brionac of the Ice Barrier. I think that's what it's called. It's the Ice Dragon. I've been using it in my Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play over on Monkey's Gaming Expedition. Uh, it's just the, the biggest fuck you card. Hopefully it's banned to this day because it's just fucking horseshit and I love using it so much because it's just horseshit. I, I just love it. Sam Sears for $1.99. Please watch Kihojin House on YouTube. It's good. Well, everybody, I guess uh, that's his recommendation of the day. Go check that out. A dramatically read for five dollars as Monkey Jones used to mock Grade A for being a drama channel. How the mighty have fallen! Oh, contraire! Dramatically read. I mocked Grade A because he claimed he's not a drama channel, and then he engaged exclusively in drama. I was mocking him for his hypocrisy. I never mocked him for being a drama channel. I have no problem with uh, drama channels. Uh, people can talk about YouTube dr uh, drama all they want. It gets the clicks. It's interesting to everybody. The one thing that all people on YouTube inherently have in common is that they're in interested in YouTube. So naturally, people talking about the drama taking place on YouTube is going to be interesting. 
Uh, so yeah, nice try, dramatically red. Thanks for the five. I think Canadian dollars, whatever uh, monopoly money you sent me, I appreciate it. Let's go to uh, Fraser Danger for two dollars. Says Ocean Man doesn't know what irony is. Which one was Ocean Man? I, was that the ten dollar one? I don't remember. Giant Dolphin for two dollars says Loli Hentai best Hentai. Get in Discord, boys. Don't know which Discord he's referring to. Not sure. Uh, Chaos Sec for. He gives me 20 sex, whatever a sec is. When's the next mailbag coming? Also, you're gay. My next video on this channel is going to be a monkey's mailbag. I was actually supposed to get drunk and film that tonight, but then I got too drunk, so I did this live stream instead. But that's coming uh, probably up this coming week. That's my next video. And then I'm going to do the art contest video. And then um, I got a whole bunch of things written down. I don't know which one's coming next. Maybe it'll be my Amp Lemon um, collab. Who knows? So, good stuff coming down the pipe. <laughs> this chat is fucking horrible. Yeah. Anime lover, welcome to my life. You heard it here first from Anime Lover. Did I miss one before I go to Zachary Liston? No, I didn't. Okay. Zachary Liston says, Hey, yo, watch Das Boot when you receive the model U-boat I'm sending you. I'm working on a model type 97 light tank during the stream, and it's very nice, I think is what he wanted to say. Uh, okay, I'll try to remember when I get your U-boat and put this in the letter that you send me with the U-boat that I need to watch Das Boot along with it. Dr. Quantum Scale for five Canadians says this chat is more backed than my up, um, more backed up than my uncle when my cousins are on vacation. Uh, Kawaii Potato for $5 says remember when Grade A stopped uploading and then claimed he was coming back eight fucking months ago and we haven't heard a peep since. No, you misunderstood. He said, welcome to season two of Grade A Under A. What we didn't understand was that season two was just the update video. So I'm looking forward to season three. I assume season three is coming in, in the year 2020, and it'll also just be a, a one episode season, probably just another update video. <laughs> he, he didn't say he was making more videos. He just said, welcome to season two. <laughs> Honestly, uh, Grade's thing is that he's too depressed to make videos. Uh, so he might have honestly killed himself. We have no way of knowing. We have no way of knowing. He doesn't post anything. He gave up on Twitter. Mr. No Name for Two Canadians says, Monkey Jones condones pedophilia and agrees with <laughs> Amos Yee. <laughs> I don't think so. Amos Yee tried to start a fight with me on Twitter because he thought he was hot shit because he got arrested for being like, he, I, I guess he was making jokes about wanting to fuck children. And he was really proud of it. And he tried to fight me on Twitter. And I was like, Okay, fam, if you say so. I mean, I'm not trying to say you're not famous. I just don't care. But Monkey Jones does not condone. Monkey Jones does not condone. Giant Dolphin. Nope. No. Giant Dolphin, man, thanks for the two bucks, but I cannot. I He, he posted a link to the Discord that I just, I will not associate with uh, spamming or, or any of that. Sorry. You're gonna, if you're going to have me uh, break my principles like that it's going to cost way more than two dollars uh scorgle for two dollars says no figure i'm talking about the discord spam stuff um oh i think he's saying it's not as bad as people are saying but uh any spam at all is probably upsetting to people who just want to hang out in their favorite discord and have a chat zachary listen for a dollar 99 hey hey captain will do have you listened to sodom i have not listened to sodom um, but I hear that his, uh, his friend Gamora is pretty good. You know what I'm saying, folks? Monkey Jones does not condone, folks. Monkey Jones does not. I'm going to post it in the chat myself. Monkey Jones does not condone. There we go. It's there. Howlers, can we raid someone already? Yeah, go ahead and raid that motherfucking like button, baby. <laughs> or the dislike button. Both likes and dislikes are equally helpful, uh, believe it or not. Palm Sugar throws in two bucks. Thank you, Palm Sugar. Uh, Anthony Adkins says, Monkey Jones condones the bone. Sure. Yeah, I guess I condone the bone. Worst things have, I've, I've condoned worse things before. Did somebody say Monkey Jones does not condone? That's right, Mopaz uh, Machinima. That's exactly what they said. Hanabi for $5 says, Nothing screams my game webcomic channel is dead more than I'm not dead updates. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it it goes from grade A under A to Rich Alvarez. It's just the same old thing as yesterday. 
Uh, I've stood here before inside the pouring rain with the world spinning circles running around my brain. I, I was always told you would end this pain, but it's you, you would end this something, but it's my destiny to be the king of pain. Anybody know that song? Morpheus in for five dollars says, Hey, Mr. Teeny, fuck you. Uh, can you play Chains someday? Comment section, please don't ruin this for me. Oh, uh, oh, you just ruined it for yourself. Sounds like Chains is something that has some sort of massive spoiler that I wouldn't want to know. And by asking the chat not to ruin it for you, you're revealing that uh, there's something spoilable about it. But I guess I will play Chained one day. And if the chat tries to spoil it, I probably won't even notice it. Zachary Liston says, you just lost a sub for that. What did I say? What did I say? You, you guys underestimate how drunk I am. I don't remember what I said a minute ago. But if I lost a sub, I guess so be it. What are we going to do? What, was it me singing the King of Pain song? Oh, Boogie died again. That's really sad. Palm Sugar says, you know, remember. No, I remember Palm Sugar. I know who you are. You sent me, uh, you sent me that flash drive in the last mailbag. And I didn't watch all of your video. And I was scared to plug in your flash drive into my computer. Costel Inolata says, Stupid Mario didn't like my new video. Who would have guessed? Eh, it beats me. I wouldn't have guessed. I thought he would appreciate it. <laughs> I thought he, you know, I, I thought he would understand that Monkey Jones does not condone, but he, he just didn't know. Uh, Roos Ruprecht says, Man, I still can't believe Uncle Dane was involved with Stupid Mario. I've been watching that guy for years. Seeing him just randomly pop up in a monkey video makes me think that the, the Matrix was, was real. Um, I haven't watched much Uncle Dane content, but his old, old channel, Random Prod, that I showed off in the video, I think he has some really solid stuff on there. In particular, the video I showed called um, I Am Cup Hands, the story of Tom Jacobs. I really love that video, and I think it's really funny, and you should watch it all the way through. And he says to be continued at the end, and I've been waiting for like seven years for him to make a sequel. Buffcat for a dolly ninety nine says monkey. I tweeted at Sheepover. Make sure she sees this. Okay, Sheepover, go check out Buffcat's tweet. And uh, Anthony Cabrera says, "When's Diary of a Su Supreme Gentleman coming back?" It's not coming back, unfortunately. I apologize if you got it. Congratulations, um, but it will not be available for me ever again. And that's all I will say about that. I apologize. And uh, I ate a lot of really fucking spicy hot wings and drank a lot of booze. And my body is telling me I need to go take a big fucking shit. So I think I'm going to have to end this uh, stream right now. So everybody, I'm, I'm going to go for like another two minutes just to say goodbye. Thanks for tuning in. Um, thanks for listening to me uh, talk about my, my recent drama with Rich Alvarez. I, I wish him the best. I really hope Rich and his girlfriend Jack want to come back on to be interviewed to get their full side of the story since they did not provide it the first time. Bob for five Canadians says, freak off you freaking monkey. Sure thing. Zachary Liston for $2 says, nah, I'm messing. I love you, dad. No homo queer. Yeah, I assume so. Everybody remember monkey Jones does not condone. Go post it. Go, go to every comment section of every video you see and just mass spam. Monkey Jones does not condone so that the entire world understands that I just do not condone. The communist snail for two dollars says, "I need to bust my late night nut. Can you can you stay, Daddy? Sorry, I cannot. I have to go <laughs> to the restroom, and I do not have a co-host to take over the show." Palm Sugar for two dollars says, "Open the third package. All my mailbag stuff is mixed up. I don't know which package is from who." Okay, everybody, thanks for tuning in. I've been Monkey Jones. I'll see you next time. Uh, my Patreon link is in the description. Please throw me in two dollars. Nobody has been a new patron in quite some time. And I'm really dying over there. And I need some love on Patreon. I'll put your name in the credits of all my videos if you do. See you next time, folks.